Hi all, welcome to the best of CAT series by IMS. I am Parmeshwar Sarma here. Today we are going to look at a question on algebra and kindly give it a try and then resume the video once you give it a try. So in today's question the sum goes like this. Let A, B, X, Y are the real numbers such that they have given you three equations A square plus B square is 25, X square plus Y square is 169 and AX plus BY is equals to 65. And the objective here is to find out the value of k where k happens to be equals to ay minus bx. Now how to solve this particular question because there could be two approaches. One could be a more conventional one, other could be a more hit and trial. But again if I look at the first approaches, if I look at the number 25 and 169, immediately one can link with the number 5 square and 13 square. And if you look at the number 65 over here, one can say 5 into 13 happen to be 65. So what do you think can happen if I multiply the first equation and the second equation, I am going to get the number 25 into 169 or one can say 5 square into 13 square giving us a number 65 square. So one can possibly say if you multiply the first equation and the second equation, it must be equal to square of the third equation. Let's understand this properly. So if I write down here a square plus b square into x square plus y square this thing should be equal to as I told you 25 into 169 which is nothing but equals to I told you 5 square into 13 square giving you 65 square. Now the term 65 can be replaced by ax plus by whole square. Now what could be other reason why I am doing so basically because if you look at now when you multiply the first and the second equation I am going to get some term involving ax, ay, by and bx already one of the term happens to be ax and by right now and the value of k is nothing but the value of ay minus bx over here. So let's see what is going to happen if I multiply my left hand term. So you are going to get a square x square plus a square y square plus b square x square plus b square y square and this thing should be equal to nothing but ax plus b y whole square. So if I apply my property of m plus n whole square which is m square plus n square plus 2 mn, I am going to get a square x square plus b square y square plus 2 ax into b y. Now the term a square x square and the term b square y square can be cancelled out from both sides. So one is going to get a y whole square plus b x whole square since we know that a square b square happen to be nothing but a b whole square minus if I bring everything on the left hand side one is going to get 2 times of a y into b x and this should be equals to 0. So kindly note we are writing the number a x into b y as a y into b x nothing wrong if I just do some other combinations over here. And now can we say the expression a y whole square plus b x whole square minus twice of a y into b x I can write as a y minus b x whole square equals to 0. It simply means that the term a y minus b x has to be equals to 0 and this term a y minus b x is nothing but the value of k which implies my value of k should be equals to 0. So my answer for this particular question has to be option number 1 here. So now if I look at another way to think about this could be if I look at the numbers a and b, can I take the value of let's say a as 5 and b as 0 because the rational basically could be if I look at the number 25 and 169 which happen to be nothing but 5 square into 13 square. So one number can be 25, other can be 0. Here also one can say here possibly if I look at the term x and y, I can take the value of x to be 13, y to be equals to 0. And the reason basically was if you look at the term ax plus by 5 into 13 plus 0 into 0 will satisfy my third equation as well. Or else people could have taken the number a as 0, b as 5, x as 0, y as 13 and again check out whether the term ax plus by become equal to 65 or not and the answer will be a yes since ax becomes 0 now the term b into y become 5 times of 13 giving you 65. Let's look at both the case what do you think is the value of k which happens to be ay minus bx. 
Now, if I look at the term a y five into zero, since one of them is zero, this becomes zero. Minus between the number b and x again, you can see b is zero. Again, this part becomes zero. So the value of k eventually becomes zero. Let's also look at the second scenario also. If you want to take it, if I look at the term a into y, this time a is zero, which makes the term a y zero. If I look at the term b x here, the term x is zero again, make the term b x zero. So whatever case you take, can we say my value of k turns out to be nothing but equals to zero? So my answer has to be option number one. This could be a slightly better way to solve the particular problem, but the first one was more structured in nature. Now kindly try a replica question and kindly put the answer in the comment section. Thank you.